Hi, I'm Blake Bernam, Product Development Manager for West Central, and today I'm working on a demonstration that shows the damage that can happen when seed corn imbibes very cold water and then germinates. This is commonly known as inhibitional chilling injury, and it happens when seed corn is planted in very cold and wet soils. The seed absorbs the water, and the cold water damages the membrane of the cells. What ends up happening is the solutes within the cell can escape. It's commonly known as leaky cell. And what ends up happening later on is we have irregular growth that can happen both in the shoot and the root. So in this demo we're going to try to see if we can replicate that by germinating seed corn that is 40 degree weather and uh, a, another comparison at 60 degree. Demonstration I've weighed out 15 grams of seed into two cups. And what I'm going to do is then make sure that we get uh, good imbibing of water. We're going to add a little water first, make sure that seed corn imbibes the water, and then we're going to plant the seed once it's imbibed with water into soil or media of vermiculite. And one will be kept at 60 degrees, the other one will be kept at 40 degrees, and we'll see what happens uh, with the germination uh, in a few days. So. Seed corn can usually absorb up to about 30% of its weight in water. So if I got 15 grams of seed in each cup, uh, we need about 14 point, I'm sorry, 4.5 grams of water into each cup. And I rounded it up to five. I've pre-measured the 60 degree water already at five and I'll add that to this cup here. And then I'll go to the next cup, which I've chilled that water down to 40 degrees. And I'll pull a sample of that. And then I'll measure out 5 grams of 40 degree water, which I have right here. And then I'll add it to this corn seed here. So what I'll do now, cover these up, make sure the seed can absorb that water. Once they've had time to absorb that, I will then uh, plant it into the soil over here. So once the seed has had some time to absorb the water in here, I'm going to then transfer it over into the, the medium which has been uh, pre-measured out both uh, uh, the vermiculite weight, which in this case is three, 300 grams of vermiculite, and then we also, then I added uh, 150 milliliters of water to it, make sure that we have good moisture within it. So I'll plant the seed in here, and then one flat will go into a refrigerator at 40 degrees, and the other one will be kept at 60 degrees, and we'll see if we get any injury differences in a few days between the 40 degree seed corn and the 60 degree seed corn. Stay tuned. 14 day mark and we're ready to take a look at how the demonstration performed. Over these two weeks I did modify the demonstration a little bit to make it resemble more real world where we have temperatures generally increasing over time. So that's what I did in the demonstration as well. The seed that was exposed to 40 degree temperatures was there for five days, then moved to 50 degrees for another five days, and then finished off at 65 degrees. The seed that was exposed at 60 degrees was held there for 10 days, and then again finished off at 65 degrees with the other flat. So let's see what we have here. This is the flat that was grown in very cold, wet conditions, again starting at 40 degrees, then moved to 50 degrees, and then 65 degrees to finish off. And as you can see, we don't have much much of anything uh, coming out of the media right now. I can see one little shoot here, another little shoot right there. We, and we do have an exposed kernel right there. Compared to the flat that was growing in 65 degrees, uh, very good uh, seedling growth happening. So what we'll do is we'll uh, dump these flats out. We'll take a look to see if we have any uh, seedling growth over here and if we have any damage that we can observe. We're back and we're taking a look at the seed that was exposed to very cold wet soil conditions and it's apparent that we have an uneven germination issue. In the upper left we have seed that hasn't started to germinate at all and a good chance that's dead and not viable. 
In the lower left, we have seed that is starting to germinate, but is behind the seed on the right that has. In comparison to the seed that was planted into the warmer soil conditions, we have even emergence, we have very good root development. There are a few in the lower left that are behind, but as a percentage of seed that germinated, it is a lot lower than what the seed was exposed to the cold, wet soil conditions. The demonstration shows that today's hybrids do have resilience, but not 100% immunity to cold, wet soil conditions. Therefore, it is always wise to plant into soil conditions that are 60 degrees or warmer. My colleague Steve Rail has additional information on this subject on liftagacademy.com. Thank you.